everyone, so we just came back from the vet and it was kind of what we expected. The kidney results were like almost double from what it was last year. So um, we decided that today it's Friday and on Monday we're going to bring her and do a second dialysis, which I'm really happy that we can still do that because last time it worked so well. Um, and you know, I was hoping that we would get a second one so that I can like strengthen and be better. So second dialysis, yes. So we bring her uh, Monday in the morning and we can pick her up Wednesday in the evening. So my fingers are crossed. I did a good job. It was so funny at the at the vet's clinic. She was so funny. <laughs> she kept walking around and trying to sneak out and she was meowing at the vet and <laughs> it was cute. She's so cute. And she's wagging her tail, so she's a okay. So day one of the dialysis was on Monday the 29th of May and like a few hours, just a few short hours after she was like um, attached to the dialysis system, she uh, was a little ball of energy. <laughs> she truly was a little ball of energy. They had to give her like some kind of sedative because she uh, did not want to be injected with the dialysis. Um, and but it was like a really weak version of the narcosis like the sedative um but even though she had like a really small amount of it she was kind of like a little woozy and a little wobbly so she is like you can see in the footage that she's kind of like oh i don't know where i'm walking and a little weird but she's also walking a little weird because um the infusion she has on her paw um they attached it in a kind of a weird place uh so she wasn't able to walk very well see she keeps like slipping and so that was not so great but um they fixed that the next day which you'll see later um other than that she was really nervous uh really didn't know what was going on but she was also very enthusiastic and happy that she was feeling so much better because she was feeling so sick before and now you can obviously see like the look in her eyes is a lot sharper she is moving so much more she is so cuddly which she never was before uh, so you can really see that the dialysis is already working in just a few short hours so we move on to the next day, day two, on Tuesday the 3rd of May, 30th of May. Uh, she has a new infusion, as you can see. It looks a lot better now. She's able to walk normally, kind of, right now. And she is wagging her tail because she's feeling good. She's feeling great. She isn't the, the gi giant ball of energy that she was uh, the day before. She's like kind of in between right now because she was like kind of calm but she also did this <laughs> for, for in my surprise um so she she was like she was kind of calm and okay with the situation now but also you can see that she's feeling much better and that she was like um expecting her surroundings and um yeah she um she's she's allowed to drink out of the tap at our place so because we want her to drink as much water as possible so so, so as you can see she's so used to that she, she was trying to get in the tab bowl here which is pretty funny in the background you can see the renal package that's the food we give her uh, at home as well and we had also brought like dry food for her but the one uh, and that this the package that's behind her is like uh, wet food and she crawled on my lap, which was a really big surprise because she never, never, ever did that. She's never been on my lap for more than five seconds in a row. <laughs> so she crawled on my lap on her own volition and she just stayed there and killed. And it was the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> But an even better moment will arrive the next day. Uh, day three, Wednesday, the 31st of May. Um, she was done. <laughs> she was pretty much done. She was meowing like crazy. She was like, um, like 
butting her head against the door. She wanted to leave. She wanted to leave and she was practically begging us to leave the entire day. And she wanted to go home and get in her own bed and be in her own house. And she 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 was like, I'm feeling so much better. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't need to be here anymore because I'm feeling much better. Uh, so she, it was hard to like... Um, we couldn't explain to her obviously that she needed to stay for just one more day because she was like okay I am done and I decided I'm done so I'm done <laughs> but other than that she was also like not exceptionally like wild or crazy she was just being good she was being fine and then this happened and this was literally maybe the most beautiful moment in my life her paw is like standing and going back and yes it was so good and she has literally never done this with anyone here I'm talking Dutch but I'm basically saying that oh my god I'm melting <laughs> I'm literally melting because this is so adorable isn't this so adorable don't you agree it was so cute and she was so calm and being a ragdoll that lets her... Um, ragdolls are known for being and letting their muscles loose when someone lifts them up. That's what their breed is known for. And she absolutely did that right now. She was like so chill. It was like unbelievably chill. So yeah, it was so great. This moment, this moment was really special for me. And it was close to the end of her dialysis and I knew that in just a few hours we were able to take her home just a few more hours and I couldn't wait I was so excited for her to finally go home and she was as well she wanted to go home so bad <laughs> and this is um, the moment they uh, took off the dialysis and we had to wait just a little more for the vet to finish up and um yeah, you can see that that was her dialysis. They took it off and um, we had to wait for a few more minutes until the vet could help us and tell us how everything went. And it did went great. So um, yeah, you can see that she has gained a lot of weight over these few days. Guess who's home? It's a Lila. Lila! Very happy, Lila. You are fat kitty right now. Right? She looks so calm right now, but just a few minutes ago, she was not calm <laughs> at all. <laughs> she was so happy to be home. Right? Lila! Allow me to take you on a little time skip because today it's Sunday, the 4th of June. And uh, so she has been with us for a few days and she is doing so great. Uh, she hasn't played with any toys or with us as of yet because I think she needs to get a little used to being at home again. But she is walking a lot in the house. I think she wants to stretch her little paws because she's been confined in such a small space for three days. So that's basically all she's doing right now is walking, a lot of walking. And she has gained 300 grams in just three days, which is great. And her kidney results went half of what they were and the higher they are the worse they are and they went like half of what it was before the dialysis so that is a magical result that is a magical result and we are so happy that she's home we are so happy that it worked and yeah that's basically all i have to say for now um we look forward to a future with her because our vet has said that she thinks that lila can um go another year without any symptoms before the symptoms come back. So that is great news. So with that news, I will sign off for here. And thank you for joining me on this journey. And I will see you in the next episode of Life with Life of Lila. Doei doei!